Hello, Sir David the Bard, coming to you from Binkelman, Nebraska. I'm hiding in one of the rail cars that sits along the side of the road, and I shut the door to the Danites. They don't know I'm in here. They don't know. All right, this is therapy. I don't give a shit if you watch or not. This is my therapy. My therapist will be home here in a few minutes. Anyway, here's what I want to say. <laughs> I can't say everything I want to say. I'm a little upset. Now let me show you why I'm upset. You people really think you invented something sharp with the internet and the keyboards and the apps <laughs> depositing a check in a credit card goes right in your bank let me tell you something now this is from an old man this is from an old man and the rest of you screw you <laughs> I, I lived a long time here's what you need you need someone to say uh, we have a phone. It'll never drop a call. Never! I don't care if you go in a tunnel. I don't care if you go underground in a nuclear blast. This damn phone will never drop a call. <laughs> Your technology sucks! I had to go downstairs and get this mousy mouse, okay? Because the other son of a bitch wouldn't work. Oh, I changed the battery. Don't give me that crap. The Bard ain't no fool. I changed the battery. Well, I put the old uh, mouse down on the, the table here to, to, you know, do my stuff. Work. And the pointer keeps doing this and I'm not touching it. It's like Dan, I control. I go, God damn. How do you stop that? I've never seen it. I've never seen the the icon for the for the um, whatever mouse thing jump all over the screen and you can't control it. Okay, this is an act of God. There's no doubt this is an act of God. Now let me tell you what's wrong with this society. Nothing fits. Nothing fits. I have got cords that go to my video camera that won't fit in my computer and my computer has cords that will not fit in the DVD and the DVD just lays on top of the TV going I'm old I'm old and I said I understand I understand how you feel no one can plug into you I've got mouse family okay this mouse right now is working because he has his own microphone. I had to plug him in. And now he's not lit up. <laughs> now he's lit up. Jesus. <laughs> Nothing fits. Your phones and your iPods all suck. They don't work 100% of the time. Do they? When they work, they're magnificent and they're a marvel. <laughs> I don't get too many marvels in my life. Nothing fits. TV cords, the, the, the damn um, outlets for the phones, they've changed. And now, you know, the old, <laughs> well, the new plugs that plug in the wall, they have three prongs. One of them is a ground. Well, half the time, an extension cord will not accept that ground. So the bard says, I'm not accepting you either ground. And I take a pair of pliers, throw that sucker off. If I get electrocuted, that'll be good. That would be really good. Because I could talk to Jesus about this shit that he's got down here. Not only the people, but the people do stupid shit things. Anyway, I come up here to put my karaoke machine in. I, I can't even find the mic. <laughs> well, the last mic, it just quit working. It goes, ah, I'm done. How does a microphone, unless it gets dropped or abused, how does a microphone stop working? Well, then I bought the electric fans because I want to save some money. 
electric fans in your country only go for one or two years. And they go, ah, I'm dead, I'm dead. Now, I'll tell you something you do have, and that's nice cars. I remember seeing a lot of cars years ago when I was young broken down on the side of the road. Flat tires and, you know, whatever. Everything broke on the old cars. But your technology today, it doesn't work 100% of the time. And you go, well, the technology is only human. I, don't, I know! Could we get the, the technology to be robots? Make them work! all the time. Now, when you get a mouse, okay, <laughs> it has a battery in it, okay? Now, when the battery is weak or gone, what you do is you put a little red light up here and it just blinks. Okay? Hey! Rather than pulling that son of a bitch out of there, going down to the junk drawer trying to find an AA battery. Now, I didn't know batteries should come in families. They shouldn't. There shouldn't be D, C, A, A, and A, A, A. What is wrong with you people? And then you have a little battery in the watch. He's round. I can't tell when he's dead or not. The hands of the clock, I guess they quit working. Nothing fits. Nothing works with anybody else. They all fold their electronic arms and go, screw you. Go buy another $24 cable at Radio Shack. We own stock in Radio Shack. The computer, wonderful thing. Let me tell you, I spend 20% of my time trying to keep my computers up and going. Now, I have kids. I've got a damn toolbar on here I can't get off. Two hours ago, I couldn't even get on. Uh, I couldn't do anything. You click, and nothing happened. Nothing happened. Well. I went in and I erased some programs that my 15-year-old put in last night, and suddenly my computer starts working again. This is a landline, okay? A land, L-A-N-D. The reason they call it that is this is a wire that is on the land. Now, the phone suck. <laughs> I remember the old phones. God, I remember the dial phones. They weren't beep, 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 beep. No, no, they don't. It didn't bother us because when it got doing, done, doing, the damn call went through. It always went through. Bell, telephone, you could run over their damn phones with a bulldozer. You come home, they'd still work. You could throw them in the bathtub. They'd still, down the toilet, you could hear them. What have you guys invented? You've got a lot of shit that is wonderful, but I'm telling you what you need is a damn company that doesn't go Blackberry, uh, Macintosh, Verizon, 4G, 8G, 92G, this is fast. Who gives a shit? Your phone doesn't work. Half the time, the lines are down. Oh, we had a, a cell phone tower <laughs> that went on vacation. It's like a fire department, folks. Technology should be like a fire department. It should work all the time. And yours doesn't. You need a company. Uh, it may be called the Bard Phone Company. You're all going around looking like this. You know, your hands are frozen to the front of your face. Everyone from seven years old up. My little 11 year old, she came in, Dad, I don't have a phone. I said, well, who are you calling, Obama? Said, well, I don't know, but I don't have a phone. I said, this society has made her need a phone. You know, my wife walks around and she has a, a phone that is, you know, one of the super duper phones. It has like 10 thousand functions. And I said to her the other day, Mercy, Mercy, how many of those functions you use? She said, well, I call. I said, okay, that's one. I text. Oh, there's two. I go on the internet. There's three. So I said, it's under five features that you use? Well, yeah. And I said, we paid $300 for five features. We could have got two sticks 
and rubbed them together and made a smoke message like the amazing, uh, uh, Native Americans. To me, they're Indians. <laughs> to me, they're Indians. Why would you spend that? And then my daughter comes in, oh, Dad, Dad, I need a line for my um, iPhone. I said, oh, really? How much is that? Oh, it's $34. Well, Mom's 35 as you know, yeah, it's about $70 a month for two phones. I said, is Obama going to call you? She goes, no. Well, maybe. <laughs> I go, you two idiots. You, uh, now, listen. I, I started with a cell phone years ago when cell phones came. Before you people were born, uh, I had a cell phone, and it took up the whole back uh, trunk of my car, uh, the, 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 the uh, mechanism. It, the whole trunk of the car was full of this. Uh, cell phone thing. Well, after I got out of the insurance business, I didn't need to call clients. I didn't need to call anybody. <laughs> so, I got out of cell phones. Well, I haven't had a damn cell phone for five years. Now, that's a reflection of how many friends I have. <laughs> they don't call me, I don't call them. My friends are right here. It's you. You are my friend. And I'm my friend. This is therapy because I'm sitting here with Mr. Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Genie Mouse. I got a desk full of, of plugs and cords. Suddenly, I can't use my, uh, my uh, uh, flight simulator. I looked around. Oh, that's because my microphone's plugged in over here. Oh, the microphone cord doesn't fit. I got to get a, a, another adjuster. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How did I get down here? This is my hell. I'm going to start to believe in God because obviously somewhere I really screwed up. And he said, you know what? <laughs> We're sending your ass to the earth. No, give me hell! Burn me! No, no, we're sending you down there. The idiots that are going to make things that never work, that they, they're always proud of, and the Chinese try to steal them, and the, the Arabs try to steal them, and then they find out they don't work. Well, you know what? I've never seen a bomb on an Arab that didn't work. I think they're a little more technologically advanced than we are. How many times have I heard in my life, this has never happened before, I would be a multimillionaire if I had 10 cents each time I've heard that over 65 years. I call the school district. Their phone answering machines answer. They say, would you like to leave a message uh, or would you like to uh, get Mr. Smith's, the superintendent's voicemail? I don't want either but I take both. And I get Mr. Smith on here, his, his answering service or his message. What has happened? My screen's blocked. Am I still on? <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. Yeah, banjo music <laughs> from... Jesus, am I still on... <laughs> I'm talking about technology and the screen goes blank and I have to go down and move the damn plug for this a thousand... <laughs> you people are nuts! You're nuts! It would have been better for me to have been Jesus and just standing on the hill and speaking... Just speaking like, that's why he didn't want to use a damn cell phone. Now, if I get cut off again, screw it. I'm just going to hang up here, and, and I, I'm going to go take a Valium or two. Jesus. Try light bulbs. Remember the old ones that were so hot that you couldn't unscrew them? Well, I had to get all of the little twirly light bulbs to save money, okay? Well, some of them have a different base on them. Like this little lamp here, it has a different screw in. The other one has a different, and the little chandelier lights, they have a little tiny screw. <laughs> Nothing fits in your society. There's no damn common sense. None. I lost my electronic key. I was on my whatever. 
uh, to one of my cars. I went in and said, hey, I need a new electronic key. He said, well, I'd be $225. I said, screw you, I'll walk. <laughs> now, the, the key that came out of the electronic case is a funny key. It opens the car, but there's no hole for it. <laughs> Reminds me of my virgin wise. There's no hole to put that key in to turn the car on. You get in one car. The mirrors are set in a, a certain place. The dimmer lights are in a certain some One of my cars has a washer that has an intermittent wiper on it. My car goes, well, I'm just going to do this all the time. I said, hey, that's your job. Just do it like that all the time. Then I have one car that the electronic mirror on this side, it doesn't quite go out far enough. So I have to say in the middle of winter, uh, in this expensive car, honey, could you unroll your window and push that damn mirror out again? Okay. <laughs> the mirrors, the rear view mirrors are different. The seat belts are different. Everything is, the radio, oh my God, I like the in the 60s. You just turned on Los Angeles radio, and it played all the oldies. It was it. It was cool. I got I got one goddamn radio in my my Rav Four, okay. And I've had the car for six months. And uh, Allison was riding with me the other day. And she says, "Dad, can I change it to my own station?" Well, the tweeny, I let her do that, and she touches the screen. I go. Holy crap, I didn't know this was a touch screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, you just push it here, push it here, it does the ball. Oh, God, they, they didn't tell me that when I bought it. <laughs> so I'm over there, not, not twisting a dial. They don't have a dial anymore. It's seek and find, and I couldn't find scan for six or seven months. Now I found scan over there. And then my GPS. <laughs> Damn, I love Tom Tom. It's my favorite GPS. But we've got one GPS that goes, I'm tired. <laughs> no, you can't be tired. You're only three years old. I'm tired. So we, when you touch him, when you touch B, it goes up to N. So you have to memorize the keyboard is not the real number or the letter on the keyboard. You know, okay, I'm going to test you. Oh, ah, you made a mistake. I don't have to work. And you son of a bitch. I'll throw you out the damn window at 70 miles an hour. Okay, try me again. <laughs> I had a GPS. I was going to Boulder City out in uh, Las Vegas. And I, I saw the arrows going towards Boulder City, but my GPS arrow was going the other way. I said, ah, oh, hell, I'll follow the GPS. <laughs> I got in the middle and I mean a desert, the middle of nowhere. And the GPS says, you've reached your destination. I go, I have. I'm in hell here. I'm in hell. I don't make this many mistakes. You know, I, I'm not a robot. But God, I would make things standard. You know, I've got one speaker system here. He has no plug for an ear. Then I have another one. He has a plug for This one has a light on it. This one doesn't have... I go, why don't you people figure this shit out? You're making people like me wish we were dead. And the young people go, oh, that's the way the world is. It's just that way. Because they've been raised with that. When I made a phone call at 16 years old, it never, never, never dropped. I talked to my son on his um, cell phone. And he says, Dad, I'm going into the mountains. I'm going to go, God. Did he drive into the mountain, or is he just losing the signal? So anyway, I feel better. I feel better. I'm still on, and it said no signal. I don't know if it turned itself off or not. I have two video camera systems in the house. I have one that works pretty well. You know, it, it's never broken down, and it constantly, um, you know, flashes different rooms. Then I have the expensive one out here, okay? It wants to know my password 9,000 times. And I look on the screen, 10,000th try for your password. And I click on it. And finally, I got a little screen that says, do you want us to remember your password? And I said, yeah, the last year I've wanted. <laughs> so every time the computer restarts, 
that program goes down. Then I have to bring it all up again. So some programs disappear. And then when I go into adjusting, then pretty soon I bring up the, the uh, desktop. It looks like somebody else's desktop. Holy shit, did I do that by just pushing one button? Well, there's so many buttons to push on it. Why don't we just have one button that says, and I do now. I have shortcuts for my show and then for me looking at my own videos, which is narcissistic. But anyway, I somehow, my child pick up a, picked up a program called 365, and 365 wanted to um, handle all of my shortcuts. I said, no, I don't want you. I want to uh, drop you. And 365, I put in there, uninstall programs, and drop your ass. Well, it comes up and says, do you really want to drop our ass, or do you want us to go over here, or over here, or up here? And it said, check below. Well, there wasn't any check that said, get the hell out of my life. Get off of my computer. There's no check. And so I ran my uh, Avast antivirus, which I guess is better than Norton. Uh, there were no viruses in my system. It was just programs that my kids picked up. And one of them I'm looking at right here is that, what's it called, uh, Jesus? I can't get rid of it because I don't see it in the programs. W or VAF. Free music. <laughs> well, it's not the music I listen to, so I'm going to lock my damn door again. And when my girls and my wife say, can I use your computer? And I'll say, uh, no, when pigs fly. Uh, I'm not coming in here and spending six hours getting everything to come back. Well, I'm becoming quite a, a computer expert. And let me tell you something, all you programmers, and uh, you know, I remember, and you don't, you're too young, when video cameras came out, there was Beta, V-E-T-A, and then the other one was, I guess, Microsoft, personal computers, and they fought and fought. Beta had a better picture. Microsoft had more GBs, and, and this one has more gigabytes. This one has more lines in the picture, and they fought and fought for, oh, two years, and then finally <laughs> Beta bit the dust. Same way with 8-track uh, videos, or 8-track uh, tapes, listening to music. You know, to put 20 of those in your car, you couldn't get in. They were so big, you couldn't get in. So then they went to the cassette tapes. Those were bitching until they got old, and pretty soon you'd look over and your music stopped, and the tape is running out of the machine. <laughs> I thought, Jesus. And you take the pencil, and you try to twist that son of a bitch until the tape came back on. Half the time you broke it. Well, now we had CDs. Then we had the floppy disks. Then we had... We have floppy computer programmers. You know, I'm telling you the truth. They're all nerds that you and I made fun of, and this is the, the revenge of the nerds. They own Radio Shack, and they know you're coming to get another cord or another adapter or a Y or a triple telephone. They, oh, what'd you find? The light. Oh, the light came. Okay, well, let me close this program, and I'm going to take you to get your flu shot. Bye. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, where, uh, honey, wait a minute. Where's the mouse pointer? God, I can't even close. The, oh, come on. Where are you, mouse? Come on. <laughs> honey. <laughs> honey, <laughs> just <laughs> let me plug this in again and again. And when the light comes on, there we go. Now, now I can stop, okay? Bye. Stop recording.